Hi girls, it's Friday. My video today comes to you in four parts. Part one, an outline of feminist theory. The way that feminist theory has been presented to me in school over the past four years is that we have two main branches of it. One, men and women are equal and should be treated as such. Equal pay, equal opportunities, equal abilities. And I think that's something that most people actually agree with today, that men and women should get equal pay, and we should have equal opportunities, and we shouldn't be treated differently because we're men or women. Feminist theory part two is that men and women are different and should be treated differently, as in we have different minds, we have different bodies, and believe it or not, we do have different abilities because let's be honest, there are things that men can do that I just can't, whether it be because of my build, or because of their build, or whatever, because my mind works differently. These people are saying that we have differences and they should be respected, i.e. women should get paid maternity leave and men shouldn't because men really have no use for it. Part two of my video is a conversation that I have with my dad every single time we watch golf. Why don't the men and the women golf together? Because the women can't hit the ball as far. Why? because they're not as strong. They could be. No, they can't. They can't hit the ball as far. Our bodies are different. Our bodies have different capabilities. They are built differently. So what? Why are women deemed weak because of this? Because are, are we the weaker gender just because we are not physically as strong as men? Of course not. That's stupid. Part three, conclusions. I believe that men and women are, of course, different. We are built differently and we think differently and actually it is neurologically proven that men and women use their brains differently. Our brains are structured differently. Men have an asymmetry in the volume of their brain hemispheres. One is significantly larger than the other, whereas women have a symmetry within their brain hemisphere volume. Furthermore, neural connections in the amygdala are located in different places. In men, there are more neural connections in the right half of the amygdala, and in women, there are more neural connections in the left half of the amygdala. Side note, there's some more really interesting information about these brain differences between men and women. Did you know that lesbian women actually show the same brain hemisphere volume asymmetry as men, and that gay men show the same brain hemisphere volume symmetry as women. And also lesbian women amygdalas show that they have more neural connections in the right half of their amygdala, like in men, and gay male amygdalas have more neural connections in the left side, like in women. Try telling me that it is a choice. Really. Okay, we have these differences, but everyone has these differences. I, for one, am very different in that I am significantly shorter than most people that I encounter in the world. But I shouldn't be treated differently because I'm short. Just like how lesbian women should not be treated differently because they are lesbian, and gay males should not be treated differently because they are gay, and men should not be treated differently because they are men, and women should not be treated differently because they are women. Part four. A summary. To say that men and women are exactly equal and should be treated exactly equal all the exactly equal time is, in my mind, completely ridiculous. We're not the same. We complete jobs and tasks differently. We look at situations differently. Our brains comprehend information differently. But does this mean that we should be paid differently? Of course not. We are human beings. To say that we should be treated differently because we have different genders is basically saying that you agreed with Hitler and that Jews should be treated differently for being Jewish. Are you seeing the ridiculousness here? We are all different. It's what makes the world exciting and diverse, and it's what makes the people that we interact with interesting. Hell, let's be honest, everyone loves hearing different accents, and we wouldn't be able to appreciate that if we were all the same. Differences are things that should be celebrated because differences happen, and we should be happy that differences happen, or else the world would be an incredibly boring place, and things like YouTube for people to share their experiences and their thoughts wouldn't exist and really wouldn't be necessary. But differences are not excuses to treat people differently in any way at all. I should not be treated differently for being a woman, a Christian, straight, young, or short, and neither should anyone else for whatever they happen to be. Everyone have a good weekend, a happy Easter if you celebrate it, and Lizzie, I will see you on Monday. Side note, there's some more really, uh, side note, side note, there's some more really information.